Live from News 3, the Old Dominion Bull Court Press. Well, good evening, everybody, and a happy holidays from wherever you may be watching. Welcome to this live edition of the Old Dominion Full Court Press. The Monarchs battling College of Charleston right now in their final non-conference game of the campaign. Let's take a look at some of these early action highlights. ODU coming off that heartbreaker at Richmond on Sunday. This one's going to be close in the first half. Here, A.J. Oliver will knock down a deep triple. Old Dominion takes an early lead. College of Charleston hanging right in there. Here, they're going to pick up the steal, go down to the other and tally the two. It would be back and forth here early on. Charles Smith is just coming off a bout with Mono. He comes in off the bench, knocks down a triple of his own. Right now, we're back about one minute and 10 seconds left in the first half. We are tied at 38 apiece as we head into halftime. The Monarchs hoping to end their non-league slate on a high note heading into the holidays. I think we just need to build on where we started where we, or where we left off. Um, just playing defense, rebounding, and finishing games. I think we should be good. We're definitely looking to come up with a, a big win tomorrow, send ourselves into the holiday with some good spirits, and uh, you know, come back ready to hop into a conference play. I definitely expect us to hit our stride pretty soon. I mean, we don't want to rush anything, but it's also about that time that things need to get it going in the direction that we need to. So here's a look at what awaits the Monarchs after the holiday break. Three road games tip off the Conference USA slate, beginning with back-to-back -back showdowns in the Sunshine State. After a trip to Charlotte, it is back home on January 13th for a matchup with Texas San Antonio. Two days later, UTEP paying a visit. UAB is your Conference USA preseason favorite. Now let's shift over and take a look at your stats leaders for Old Dominion. And keep in mind this entering tonight's game with the Cougars, C.J. Kaiser is still the scoring leader at just over 13 points a game. Kalu Azikbe is second, Jalen Hunter in third. He is just shy of double digits. Who's crashing the glass? Azikbe topping this leaderboard here at just under seven rebounds per outing. Makai Long grabbing six tonight. And Austin Trice is contributing as well off the bench. He's jumped up a full rebound in his average just since last week. To the assist column now, which Monarchs are sharing the rock and setting up teammates. It's Hunter topping the team with four and a half per game. Kaiser nearing two per contest and Ezekbe appearing on this list as well. Now to who's picking opponents' pockets. Hunter is also pacing the Monarchs in steals through the non-conference schedule. Long and Ezekbe are each making an impact as well. Finally, who are the mainstays on the court for ODU? Hunter leads the charge here, nearly 34 minutes per contest. Kaiser close behind. Long rounds out the top three, still over half an hour of playing time each game for Long. Well, still ahead, the Monarchs get ready to hit the road for the holidays, find out some of their favorite traditions and Christmas dinners coming up right after this. Dominion Bull Court Press. Well, thanks for staying with us here in the Old Dominion Full Court Press, a live edition from Chartway Arena. We have just hit halftime here, and College of Charleston holding a slim 41 to 39 lead over the Monarchs. Kalu Azikbe and CJ Kaiser, 12 points each for the home team. A back and forth first half, several lead changes as we get set to head towards the holidays, and the Monarchs looking to end their non conference schedule on a high note. Well, Christmas means time with the family, but basketball season doesn't always allow for that for players and coaches. Well, fortunately, 2021 features a little bit of a break for the holidays. Sometimes seasons overlap. Baseball and football. Football and hoops. Also on this list, basketball season and holiday season. Sometimes we don't get to go home. Uh, thankfully, we get to go home this year. So just to see my family for a couple days, it's just it's, it's amazing. It's something, you know, I've always done my whole life, so it's never really been much of a challenge. This year, the Monarchs hit a Christmas break right after tonight's game and will not practice again until Monday. A chance to get home and enjoy those Christmas family traditions. We all get together, all spend a lot of good time together, eat good, just cherish family time, and that's about it. All the cousins at the house, Everybody eating good and enjoying family. We always used to uh, open the stockings first, 
check out, see what we got, get a little candy, something like that before we go to the present. So it was always good to look forward to that. Not a situation for the uh, those that want to be low key uh, with with three uh, three grandkids and, and a, uh, under the age of four uh, and a, a bunch of dogs running around. It's it's pretty chaotic, but it's it, it's fun. Family fun and of course food. I need the mac and cheese, the yams, the turkey, the chicken. Everything unhealthy, I need it. <laughs> the only problem with that is both my daughters are vegetarians. Uh, and, and so uh, if I don't keep an eye on it, um, you know, we, we, we may be having a vegetarian Christmas. That's, that, that's not my ideal uh, traditional Christmas dinner. And everybody has that favorite gift under the tree. I was a young boy, uh, a little bit of a, a bad child. So I used to get, you know, maybe some BB guns, something like that. I don't really like gifts, but I take the money like <laughs> every time. <laughs> gift cards, cash. Yeah, gift cards, yeah, all that. A holiday wish this year for ODU, success on the basketball court. But before they get back to business, players and coaches take time with those who mean the most. Just see my family, make sure they know I'm here. I definitely gotta eat, you know what I'm saying? I know I gotta get back in shape when I come back. Well, last year, you know, we didn't get to go home for uh, Christmas, so I think just going home, seeing my family, no matter how long it is, just seeing all of us together, because we usually don't always have time where all of us together, so I'm looking forward to that. Now, Jeff Jones also says that he and his family sport matching red onesies for Christmas, but he went on to promise that nobody will ever see photographic evidence of that, so we're going to have to take his word for it. As for Jones and the Monarchs right now, 41-39, to College of Charleston leading here at halftime as the Monarchs try to cap their non-conference schedule off with a victory heading into Conference USA play next week. That wraps up this live edition of the Old Dominion Full Court Press. Remember, if you joined us late, the entire show will be available on the sports page of WTKR.com.